Hello, I'm Ollie, and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. And today, a bit of all three, it's my regular weekly wrap up. Um, so first off, going to talk about the books I've read over the last week. So I did the last wrap up on a Friday. Um, it's Saturday today, so it's an eight day week. So a few more books this time. Um, and then also talk about my plans for the coming week, both in terms of what I'm going to be reading um, and the videos I'm going to try and get done for the channel as well. So book wise, um, start with the paper books. So read Joyland by Stephen King, which is one that I've had on my shelves for ages. I think I got it a good few years ago now. And I think I'd started reading it and not, not you know, just wasn't feeling it at the time, um, but really enjoyed it. Um, second time around or second try around um so if you've not read it it's um one of his hard case crime novels so it's a there's definitely horror and supernatural stuff in here but there's also a mystery so it's about a young guy um who's working um for the summer when he's on break from college um at an amusement park called joyland um where um a young woman was was killed in the ghost train um a few years previously and it's kind of about him um and some other people he's working with trying to investigate what happened to her and various other stuff as well so it's that kind of typical cling cling <laughs> king, that typical king nostalgia thing he does sometimes where the narrator is an older guy looking back on his youth it's set in the 70s um but it's quite cute it, it felt a bit like a kind of cozy king book to me um so there's definitely a bit of horror um, and, you know, some violence in there. But overall, it's kind of quite heartwarming. <laughs> so there's there's some maybe slightly too heartwarming bits, which are a little bit cheesy. But it's it's good fun, a good read anyway. Um, next, I read Queen of the Cicadas by V Castro. I've done a video for this already, which I'll be uploading sometime in the coming week. Um, so this was a very good um, horror novel with, a you know, a female Latinx um protagonist um who's a really interesting character so interestingly flawed so she's a kind of 40 something i think woman um who's a successful lawyer who is traveling back to her home state of texas for a wedding um and discovers that the place she whoa that was a good catch um the place she's staying at um or the, the hotel where the wedding is being held um is used to be a ranch where a young woman was um, was murdered, a, a, an immigrant woman was murdered, um, and there's this legend around her called the Queen of the Cicadas. So it's an interesting mix of um, you know horror and social commentary, um, fantastic protagonist, as I said, and it just it hangs together really, really well. It's got some quite quite kind of dreamlike bits, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and looking forward to reading the other book by, Keith, by V Castro I've got, which is a short story collection, which is coming out in a couple of months. Um, so, yeah, check out my video on this, which I think will be up either Tuesday or Thursday of this week. Um, I also finished um, this Conan short story volume. So the first of the first volume of a three part collection of all of the Robert E. Howard um, Conan short stories. This was great fun. It's got uh, I think I showed it in a previous video. It's got really lovely illustrations um, and the stories are just so full of energy and colour and you know really really entertaining pulp stuff so yeah thoroughly enjoyed that and definitely recommend it if you've not read Conan before which I haven't for many many years um, and then moving on to Kindle books um, so I read A Deadly Shade of I'm trying to remember the title A Deadly Shade of Gold by John D MacDonald which is I think the fifth of the Travis McGee books. So if you've never read the Travis McGee books, they're a fantastic series of detective novels that were written in kind of 50s and 60s. Um, Travis McGee is like the coolest um, detective ever. So he's a guy who spends half his year solving mysteries for people and doing kind of salvagey type stuff and, and always ends up with a bit of money out of it. And then spends the other half of the year just bumming around on his houseboat um, having relationships with various women um, and drinking lots of, of rum. So yeah, it, he's a fantastically cool character and really entertaining to read. You get in, in the books, you get loads of his kind of philosophy of life, which is great fun. Um, this book I thought was a bit too complicated for its own good. Um, so it's got a really complicated plot about these um, 
kind of ancient gold statues and about the Cuban Revolution and there's all sorts of stuff going on and it, it lost me um, a few times but Travis McGee is always great fun to read so I enjoyed it anyway. Um, next up on Kindle was The Troop by Nick Cutter um, which again I think I'm going to do a video of which will probably be up this week maybe on Thursday so if you don't know it it's a horror novel about a scout troop who are camping on an island and get infected by a horrible um, thing. I won't go any first because <laughs> um, I don't want to spoil it for you. But it, it was it was an entertaining, um, you know, decent horror novel. But it's one that a lot of people seem to really rave about, and I didn't think it was that great. It's it's fun. It's incredibly disgusting at times, which is quite enjoyable in a way. But it doesn't really have any depth to it or anything like that. So you know, an entertaining read. I polished it off in a day, I think, um, but not brilliant. Um, so as I say, I'll be doing it. I had a lot of thoughts about it after finishing it. So I'll be doing a full video just on that one. Um, and then currently reading um, a Japanese detective novel. And I can't remember the name of the author. So bear with me. OK, it's called The Village of Eight Graves and it's by Seishi Yokomizo. Um, it's the third, I think, in a series that feature the same detective, albeit I've, I've read the first one and I think the detective was quite present in that one but in this one he's, I'm, I'm two thirds of the way through and he's hardly been in it at all um, but it's quite enjoyable. Um, it's a mystery about a young guy who gets approached by some um, kind of lawyers and finds out that he's, he's, he's never known who his father was and he finds out he's um, the son of this psycho guy who killed most of the people in his village. Um, and he then travels, the, the protagonist travels back to the village um, and people start dying mysteriously. Um, it's it's quite complicated, but it's really good fun so far. It's got lots of tunnels and caves and all sorts of mysterious stuff going on. So I'm quite enjoying that. Um, so I'm hoping to finish that today. Um, and then next, I can't decide what to read. I'm tempted to read the first of the Wheel of Time books, which I've got on my Kindle, just because there's so much hype about it at the moment because of the new Amazon show. So I might read that, or I might read a Richard Lehman on my Kindle, or I've got The Drive-In um, by Joe R. Lansdale, which I read like when it came out, so God knows how long ago that was, in the 80s, um, which I've been meaning to reread for ages, so I might reread that. Um, I've definitely, the next book I read will definitely be on the Kindle, because I'm also this week, trying out the new Kindle Paperwhite um, and I'm going to do a kind of full review of that. I've done a, um, a kind of initial thoughts review already um, but I want to do a review you know once I've been using it for a while. So far I'm absolutely loving it, finding it really nice to read from, really comfortable to hold. What I want to do, so I've started using it with the battery at 100%, it's now at about 55% I think after nearly three books so the battery life's doing pretty well. What I want to do is run it all the way down to zero before I do my um, my review. So I will be doing that probably, I'll probably get it run down to zero by Monday, I think, because I'm intending to do quite a lot of reading this weekend. Um, so probably we'll film a video on Monday and get that up sometime next week. So in terms of my 100 book challenge, where I'm reading 100 books I already own before buying any new ones, um, the three books I've just mentioned that I read on Kindle are all part of my challenge so <laughs> we'll count against my 100 so I started the challenge I think I was midway through something when I started the challenge so I finished that off um I think it was um when I announced the challenge I think I was reading Queen of the Cicadas and and hadn't finished the Conan book either um so yeah I finished both of those so um The Troop, A Deadly Shade of Gold and um Village of Eight Graves, when I finish it, those three will all will be the first three books of my 100 book challenge. So hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have three knocked down and I'll have 97 to go. Um, so yeah, I'm doing um, updates on that via YouTube Shorts. So every time I finish a book, I'm doing a 15 second video just to let you know I've finished. So if you're interested in tracking my progress, um, look out for those. Um, but I'll keep updating in the weekly videos as well. So that's what I've been reading this week. That's what I've been up to. Hope you are all well. Do let me know what you've been reading in the comments. Um, if you've read any of the stuff I've talked about, then let me know your thoughts on it. Um, as always, really appreciate your time watching my videos. Um, I'm 
blown away by the fact that I've, I'm up to kind of almost 200 subscribers already, which is far beyond what I ever expected to get to. Um, so, you know, really appreciate your time. As I say, um, keep safe and I will speak to you again soon. Cheerio. Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminolly, where I talk about pulp. No. <laughs>